Hi friends, it's Monica and let's review the Shades of Magic series by V.E. Schwab. This fantasy series is an adult fantasy series and it has three books in the series. The first one being A Darker Shade of Magic. The second book is A Gathering of Shadows and the third book is A Conjuring of Light. A quick summary about this book series is that we have four parallel worlds that are connected through the city of London. And there are rare magicians known as Antari that can jump in between these Londons. We're following Cal, who is an Antari from Red London, and he acts as an ambassador to all the other Londons. However, Cal's side hobby of smuggling has him running into a pickpocket, Lila Bard, and circumstances requires Cal to bring Lila onto a world hopping adventure. Very quickly, the format of this video is going to first cover my overall reading experience. We're going to dive into the characters, some themes, and what I hope for the new series, Threads of Power, and my final concluding thoughts about this book series. So let's just get into my overall reading experience. The first read through of the Shades of Magic series, I found it to be very intense. I love the characters, both the protagonist and antagonist. The magic system was really fun and I thought the writing was very, very addictive. I am happy to say that on my most recent reread of this trilogy, that I had the same reading experience except for a newfound second book slump but that didn't really decrease my overall enjoyment of the series. The plot of the series is pretty straightforward to follow. It does have really nice twists and turns that gives you magical fights, internal emotional conflicts, as well as really rich worlds. The writing is easy to read and you find yourself being easily immersed into this world and there are multiple point of views of characters and you get to learn what a character's motivations are. The pacing is quite consistent throughout the series except for some slower bits in book two but that didn't detract from the overall storylines and everything being resolved in a very satisfying way. Now getting into the different type of worlds that we're set in and mainly we are set in the city of London. We have Grey London which is our London and it is magicless. There's also Red London and their city is full of magic to the brim. I would describe it as being healthy magic. Then we have White London who is quite starved for magic and its people are very very demanding for power and to get a taste of magic. Then we have Black London and this world is completely ruined and desolate. Each of these Londons have its own language and own culture and it really adds to how a character might act and it really gives you an insight of why they are the way they are because of how they grew up. Magic wise is quite basic. It is based upon elements and everyone has a different level of skill and talent. I really did like how the magic isn't inherited through bloodline and it's pretty random at who can be the most powerful magician. Each installment of the series built upon each other and we get to see how the intersection of each world plays a huge role in the daily lives of its citizens. In book one, we are mainly introduced to the workings of Red London and White London. Book two really highlights the magical culture of Red London. In book three, we see how danger is brought into each world and the major consequences of that. Now onto the characters. There is a huge cast of characters, but I love the protagonists and the villains alike. The villains, you love to hate them, and the main characters, you just love them for who they are and how they develop over the series. I also appreciated that the relationships and the romances are multi-layered and complex, and they are nuanced by the ongoing events throughout each book. First up for our main characters, we have Kel and he is the Antari from Red London. I describe Kel as having a good head on his shoulders, but he also struggles with his love for his brother versus his own wants. Kel also has a magical coat. He can have a short temper and he is pulled in many different directions throughout the entire series. Then we have Philo Bard, who is our pickpocket thief 
from Grey London and she has a really huge dream of being a pirate. She does get this wish granted and it really takes her into a direction that she never expected. Lila, she is witty, she is fearless, and she does have a case of being that girl syndrome that she thinks that she's not like all the other girls and she's so unique. She does have that type of personality, but I do think it does get better throughout the entire series. Then we have Prince Rai, who is Kyle's brother. I love Prince Rai, he's very lighthearted, and we do see him struggle with not having any magical ability. In Red London, having magic is like equivalent of having power. With Rai, I think he is the life of the party and really the complete opposite to Kel, but I very much love their relationship and bond with each other. Another major character that we see in this series is Holland. He is the Antari from White London. He is very morally gray and he can be considered a villain at times, but you do see eventual depth to him when we get into his background story. Holland has lived a hard life in a cruel world and that really plays into his every action. Truth be told, he is one of my favorite characters <laughs> in the series. But honestly, I do love all the characters in this book, especially the ones that I mentioned here. Moving on to some themes that are prominent in this series. First, we have the lust for power. In different ways, we see mainly our villains lusting for power and doing anything and doing the most to get as much power and magical ability, which leads to a lot of people dying and getting hurt and is a major plot point that's carried out in each book. For our main characters, power can be seen as a burden to them or it can be considered to be a lifeline for them to find more magic and to have more power in their world. Another huge theme slash trope is found family and in the series, we do have the presence of parents, which is nice to see because I think having orphan main characters is very much overdone. The interactions amongst our main group of characters are full of love and a lot of banter, but that's not to say that they don't have their own conflicts, but they do resolve these issues. I definitely love the sibling relationship between Kel and Rai the most because they just have such a strong bond. I also like the romances being tossed in there as well. Next, I wanted to say what expectations I have for Threads of Power. Mainly, I do have really high expectations for this new spin-off series that we're getting. It's releasing on September 26th. I believe that's the correct date. I'm very curious to see where the characters who we already know and love and what they're up to now. I want to see how they do intermingle with our new cast of characters. And according to some early reviews that I glanced at, the new characters are very lovable, which I am taking as a good sign. The bottom line for me is that I want to see improvement in the writing, although the Schwab is an incredible writer. I just want to see more development and up-leveling of her writing ability. Overall, I do think I will have a blast reading Threads of Power. Honestly, getting more books set in the Shades of Magic world is all that I could hope for and I'm hoping it will be awesome. Should you pick up this series, the short answer is yes. My long answer as to why is that you will fall in love with the characters you will love to hate the villains and you would just be so immersed into this world full of magic. There's also high stake action, swooning romances, and a lot of fun banter. I highly recommend you check out the Shades of Magic series if you are looking for an adult fantasy series that is not overly complex, that has lovable characters, and world hopping. Those are all my thoughts on the Shades of Magic trilogy and I hope you enjoyed watching and are excited for the new spin-off series. Don't forget to give me a huge thumbs up, hit the subscribe button down below, and ring the notification bell to not miss any future uploads, and I'll see you all in my next one. Bye!